and they're on their way in Val de Sole as they leave the line and it's Puck Peterson and Lyra Steger again out front as they head into this right-hander Terpstra's on the left-hand side yeah Terpstra another Dutch woman on the left of uh, Puck Peterson but Lyra Steger and here is Eva Richards now taking the lead Evie Richards likes this place she got a set of UCI rainbow stripes in this place and she's going to lead them out on this first lap. There's Linda Endergrand up with her as well. Yeah, Linda Endergrand had a good uh, race also last week at Europeans. It uh, looks like she's uh, getting stronger every week. Laura Stieger on third place, but Petersen behind her. 143 beats per minute for Peterson on the line then for Alpes and De Koenig. They head up on this four cross track section, they head up it. It's quite a difficult part of the course. Uh, some big rocks, some st step it, but only a few good lines to ride. So, for some of them, it's a, yeah, it's a huge block of races every week, back to back. I asked Lars Forster earlier. And here we see Mona oh, Mieterwald on the back, chasing the hard jersey, to yeah, back to that, to that leading group. Yeah, I Mona asked Mieterwald, Lars, we know that I asked Lars Forster fan. earlier in the week uh, how he's going to relax in the, the summer break, and he said, I'm going to go somewhere, I'm going to do nothing. It's, 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 it's sometimes just necessary to do nothing for just a week, and especially this season, you have two different halves, so the, this is the last race actually for the first for the first block, and then the team riders they take a little bit off and then prepare themselves again for the second half of the season with the World Championships. Where is the attack going to come from? Okay, Courtney is pushing hard in the back of the chasing group to close the gap. And Puck Peterson now forces the issue. Keller straight with her as well. Steger to the to the rider's right hand side thinks about it. Nope, just slots back in again. Keller. It's the final lap. This is it, the final lap. All comes down to this one. Okay, Courtney leading that chasing group. It comes too late. Peterson leads him on the bottom of the glass climb. This is going to be a long sprint for her. Keller right in the middle. Pauline for Amberville just gets boxed out and moves back to the back of the group, the group now. And there's Steger. Yeah, Steger, now second place. Steger won the opening short track in Novomesto Namarave at the start of the year. She would fancy adding lap tally today, but she's got a problem in the shape of Puck Peters out front. So at the beginning of the climb, different lines for Puck Peters and Laura Steger. Some thinking to do here they through the rock. Together, and here we are. Little bubble. It's Puck Peters who's leading here. Help way that climb. Peterson Full gap. It's Laura Steger who's overtaking Puck Peters. Peterson digs deep, but it's no match for Laura Steger up this climb. Steger has a quick look over, will lead them through the jump section now. Sits up slightly now, she'll attack down through this jump line. Steger. But there's still some time for Puck. That, she, just got, that gap. she just hung that up slightly, Steger. Railing around that burned corner. But it's high speed actually, all these burns, all these corners. There's not that much time to close a gap. Keller and Ferd. This high speed is very difficult to do. Keller and Ferd still boxing, still rolling. It's Laura Stiger who's still leading. Puck Peterson close to her. High speed cornering. Accelerating very quickly. Let look over the shoulder from Steger to see who's behind her. It is Puck Peterson. She could have predicted that. You can see how dusty it is. They both run wide slightly. Comes down to these two. It looks like it is going to come from these two as Keller moves up into third. Interesting in between. Puck Peterson. Puck Peterson. Now Puck Peterson overtake goes. Steger. Peterson overtakes Steger. Now she goes. She'll lead them on to this final start finish. Can Steger out sprint Puck Peterson as they come onto the line for the last time? The last straight. Peterson's got a bike length. Steger digs in. Has she got enough in her locker to beat Puck Peterson today? It doesn't look like it. Puck Peterson down the line, the bike nearly lifts off the ground. It's close. It's close. It's a photo finish there on the same Big second. Steger took it. Steger celebrates like she's won the way away at confirmation. Pauline Ferran Prevu crosses the line and third ahead of Keller. Wrist fits. Henderson. What a sprint. And there is how she done it. What a fine margin. We saw a photo finish here last year between Pauline Ferran Prevu and Luana Lecomte, but. That was by half a bike. I don't know if there was even that between Puck Peterson and Lyra Steger, the winner in this one. World Cup win is this woman, Austria's Lyra Steger. Takes to the podium in first place. 
A young woman who blazed a trail through the junior ranks, making good on that in the elite category. Lara Steger then takes the victory in Val de Sole Trentino. Her second UCI cross country short track World Cup win of the year. Yeah, really, really exciting finish of that one. There you have confirmation then. Lara Steger, the Austrian, wins her second short track World Cup of the year. Head of Puck Peterson of Alpeson de Kernick, Pauline Ferran Pervo. In third, Alessandra Keller, fourth, Jenny Risvitz, fifth, Henderson, Neff, Fercini, Fry, Courtney up in tenth.